Hello, this is the next video in a playlist that I'm calling Probability Measure. And we're going to look at the first and second borel cantelli lemmas. Let's jump right in. So the borel cantelli lemma is this. Let omega, f, and mu be a measure space. So that tells us that capital F here is a sigma field. And if A1, A2, dot, 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 are sets in F, and the sum of the measure of these sets is less than infinity, then the measure of the limit supremum of AN is equal to zero. So note that the limit supremum of, of AN is, can be represented like this. So the intersection from N equals one to infinity of the union of K equals N to infinity of AK. So we have a few videos illustrating this representation. And if we take off the, the need to have the intersections, this is a subset of k equals n to infinity of ak. So thus, the measure of the limit supremum of an is less than or equal to the measure of this union from k equals n to infinity. And this is for all n. And by subadditivity, this is less than or equal to the sum of k equals n to infinity of the measure of a k. But if we let n go to infinity, this converges to zero because you know each the terms have to converge to zero, and that's what this represents. And we're finished. We we showed that it converges to zero. Now the second Borel Cantelli lemma deals with an infinite series so that uh, goes to infinity. So let the tuplet omega, f, and p be a probability space and let the sets a1, a2, dot, 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 be independent events in the sigma field f. If the infinite sum of the probability of a n is equal to zero, then the probability of the limit supremum of a n is equal to 1. And this leads to the infinite monkey theorem, which we'll discuss at the end of this proof. So the proof goes like this. The probability that the limit supremum of a n is equal to the probability of this limit, of the intersection union of k n, and that is equal to the uh, probability of the limit as n goes to infinity of these unions, those two are equal, then this infinity up here in the union, if we replace that by m and let it go to infinity, then these two limits equal. And since we're dealing with probability, the probability of this event is equal to 1 minus the probability of its complement. Okay. Now, since there's no n and m in 1, the limits of that is 1, right? So if we can show that the limit of the complement goes to 0, then we prove the theorem. So let's look at this complement, the probability of the union of k equals n to m of the event ak complement. So De Morgan's theorem, we can take the complement in and then it becomes intersection of the AK complement. And by independence, we know that this uh, intersection can be thought of as the product of those probabilities by independence. And then this right here is less than or equal e to the minus p, you know, the probability of that event. And this can be seen by the probability of AK complement is equal to 1 minus the probability of AK, but this is less than or equal to the exponential of minus the probability of AK. And this inequality might be easier to see if you just replace this by X. So 1 minus X is less than or equal to the exponential of minus X. But this infinite product of an exponential is the same as the exponential and, and then you sum the, the, the probabilities in the, the exponent. So it's minus the sum of the probability of events. But 
if we look at the limit as m goes to infinity, which is the first part of the theorem in the, on the previous page, as this limit goes to infinity complement, which is this, and we've, we showed that this is less than or equal to this exponential, but as m goes to infinity, this sum goes to infinity, and which means this exponential goes to zero. And, that, and that's because this sum goes to infinity. Well, that's what we wanted to show, that this probability goes to zero, so that uh, probability of the limit supremum goes to one. That's what we want to show. Now, this leads to the infinite monkey theorem. So if an infinite number of monkeys are randomly typing, the probability that one of them will write Hamlet is equal to one. And it, and it goes kind of like this, that if a, if a monkey is randomly typing letters on a typewriter, and if we know how many letters are in Hamlet, and we, we ensure that the monkeys type more letters than that, then there is a certain probability that a monkey will type Shakespeare's work, you know, the Hamlet. Now, granted, that probability is quite small, but each monkey has that same little positive probability. So if you sum any positive number an infinite number of times, it goes to infinity. So the probability of these events sum to infinity. And that says that the probability of this limit supremum of an is 1. And another way to think about the limb sup of an is that the event happens infinitely many times. So not only will one monkey type Hamlet, an infinite number of monkeys will type Hamlet. And that's by the second borel cantelli lemma theorem. Well, that's all I have for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed that. I sure did. Please like the video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.